Hello. The purpose of this video is to talk about finding the equation of a parabola if you know the vertex and one other point on the parabola. So the important thing here is you need to know the vertex and you need to know one other point. The problem is if you look at the three of these uh, different parabolas, you might notice that they're slightly different shaped. In other words, uh, parabolas that I know from the vertex usually go over one, up one, over two, up four, because two squared is four. They'll go over three, up nine, because three squared is nine. But if I look at this one, this one does not go over one, up one, and it does not go over two, up four, for that matter. So we have to be a little bit more cautious about how we choose um, how the function is going to be stretched out vertically. So there's one way which would be to guess, and you can look over here and guess that the A value in this equation is going to be a quarter, but there's a slightly more sophisticated approach and it looks like this. We start with the fact that F of negative two equals negative two. That's good, good news. That enables us to then write the walk at home piece. We can go plus two quantity squared minus two. Then we're going to take another solution to the equation. So clearly 0, negative 1 is one of the solutions to the equation. So that means that when y is negative 1 and x is 0, we have a true equation. So what we can do here is we have everything is filled in except for the value of a. So we will now know what value of a makes it true that uh, 0, negative 1 is a solution to an equation. I solve and I get a equals 1 quarter. Therefore, the equation I get is y equals 1 quarter times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 2. So we got our vertex covered and the a value, and the a value was found analytically, so I don't have to just guess and hope I'm right. Just see that again twice. Here, I look at it, I'm guessing the a is going to be negative 1, because I go over 1, down 1, so a is going to be negative 1, I'm sure of it. We start with the vertex, though, and that tells us where to walk home. And then we take another point on the graph and put the f negative 5 in for y in this case and the negative 1 in for x in this case and solve for a, and I get a equals negative 1. No surprises, but this is a way to verify and make sure that I've got it right. So one last example, use the point 0, 4 to get um, the vertex form, and then uh, we use the point... Yeah, all right. Anyway, I just drawed that out really quick, but you can see a equals negative one half in this case, and that's actually what was shown to us here. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.